The Feynman Lectures on Physics is a physics textbook based on some lectures by Richard P. Feynman, a Nobel laureate who has sometimes been called the Great Explainer. The lectures were given to undergraduate students at the California Institute of Technology during 1961 to 1963. The book's authors are Feynman, Robert B. Layton, and Matthew Sands. The book comprises three volumes. The first volume focuses on mechanics, radiation, and heat, including relativistic effects. The second volume is mainly on electromagnetism and matter. The book also includes chapters on mathematics and the relation of physics to other sciences. The Feynman Lectures on Physics is perhaps the most popular physics book ever written. It has been printed in a dozen languages. More than 1.5 million copies have sold in English, and probably even more copies in foreign language editions. A 2013 review in Nature described the book as having simplicity, beauty, unity, presented with enthusiasm and insight. In 2013, Caltech made the book freely available on the website feynmanlectures.caltech.edu. Background by 1960, Richard Feynman's research and discoveries in physics had resolved a number of troubling inconsistencies in several fundamental theories. In particular, it was his work in quantum electrodynamics that would lead to the awarding in 1965 of the Nobel Prize in Physics. At the same time that Feynman was at the pinnacle of his fame, the faculty of the California Institute of Technology was concerned about the quality of the introductory courses for undergraduate students. It was felt that these were burdened by an old-fashioned syllabus and that the exciting discoveries of recent years, many of which had occurred at Caltech, were not being conveyed to the students. Thus, it was decided to reconfigure the first physics course offered to students at Caltech, with the goal being to generate more excitement in the students. Feynman readily agreed to give the course, though only once. Aware of the fact that this would be a historic event, Caltech recorded each lecture and took photographs of each drawing made on the blackboard by Feynman, based on the lectures and the tape recordings. A team of physicists and graduate students put together a manuscript that would become the Feynman Lectures on Physics. Although Feynman's most valuable technical contribution to the field of physics may have been in the field of quantum electrodynamics, the Feynman Lectures were destined to become in his most widely read work. The Feynman Lectures are considered to be one of the best and most sophisticated college-level introductions to physics. Feynman, himself, however, stated, in his original preface, that he was pessimistic, with regard to the success with which he reached all of his students. The Feynman Lectures were written, to maintain the interest of very enthusiastic and rather smart students coming out of high schools and into Caltech. Feynman was targeting the lectures to students who, at the end of two years of our previous course, were very discouraged because there were really very few grand, new, modern ideas presented to them as a result. Some physics students find the lectures more valuable after they obtain a good grasp of physics by studying more traditional texts. Many professional physicists refer to the lectures at various points in their careers to refresh their minds with regard to basic principles. As the two-year course was still being completed, rumor of it spread throughout the physics community. In a special preface to the 1989 edition, David Goodstein and Jerry Neugebauer claim that as time went on, the attendance of registered students dropped sharply but was matched by a compensating increase in the number of faculty and graduate students. Sands, in his memoir accompanying the 2005 edition, contests this claim. Goodstein and Neugebauer also state that it was Feynman's peers, scientists, physicists, and professors who would be the main beneficiaries of his magnificent achievement, which was nothing less than to see physics through the fresh and dynamic perspective of Richard Feynman, and that his gift was that he was an extraordinary teacher of teachers. Addison Wesley published a collection of problems to accompany the Feynman lectures on physics. 
The problem sets were first used in the 1962-1963 academic year and organized by Robert B. Layton. Some of the problems are sophisticated enough to require understanding of topics as advanced as Kolmogorov 01 law, for example. Addison Wesley also released in CD format all the audio tapes of the lectures, over 103 hours with Richard Feynman. After remastering the sound and clearing the recordings, for the CD release, the order of the lectures was rearranged from that of the original texts. In March 1964, Feynman appeared before the freshman physics class as a guest lecturer, but the notes for this lecture were lost for a number of years. They were finally located, restored, and made available as Feynman's lost lecture, The Motion of Planets Around the Sun. In 2005, Michael A. Gottlieb and Ralph Layton co-authored Feynman's Tips on Physics, which includes four of Feynman's freshman lectures not included in the main text. A memoir by Matt Sands about the origins of the Feynman lectures on physics, and exercises that were assigned to students by Robert B. Layton and Rockus Vogt in recitation sections of the Feynman lectures course at Caltech. Also released in 2005 was a definitive edition of the lectures which includes corrections to the original text. 49. In September 13, 2013, in an email to members of Feynman Lectures online forum, Gottlieb announced the launch of a new website by Caltech and the Feynman Lectures website which offers a free high-quality online edition of the lecture text. To provide a device-independent reading experience, the website takes advantage of modern web technologies like HTML5, SVG, and MathJax to present text figures and equations in any sizes while maintaining the display quality. Contents Volume 1 Mainly Mechanics, Radiation, and Heat Preface when new ideas came in, I would try either to deduce them if they were deducible or to explain that it was a new idea and which was not supposed to be provable. Chapters Atoms in Motion Basic Physics The Relation of Physics to Other Sciences Conservation of Energy Time and Distance Probability The Theory of Gravitation Motion Newton's Laws of Dynamics Conservation of Momentum Vectors Characteristics of force, work and potential energy, work and potential energy, the special theory of relativity, relativistic energy and momentum, space-time, rotation in two dimensions, center of mass, moment of inertia, rotation in space, the harmonic oscillator, algebra, resonance, transients, linear systems and review, optics. The principle of least time, geometrical optics, electromagnetic radiation, interference, diffraction, the origin of the refractive index, radiation damping, light scattering, polarization, relativistic effects in radiation, color vision, mechanisms of seeing, quantum behavior, the relation of wave and particle viewpoints, the kinetic theory of gases, the principles of statistical mechanics, the Brownian movement, applications of kinetic theory, diffusion, the laws of thermodynamics, illustrations of thermodynamics, ratchet and pull, sound, the wave equation, beats, modes, harmonics, waves, symmetry and physical laws. Volume 2, Mainly Electromagnetism and Matter Chapters Electromagnetism, Differential Calculus of Vector Fields, Vector Integral Calculus, Electrostatics, Application of Gauss Law, The Electric Field in Various Circumstances, The Electric Field in Various Circumstances, Electrostatic Energy, Electricity in the Atmosphere, Dielectrics, Inside Dielectrics, Electrostatic analogues, magnetostatics, the magnetic field in various situations, the vector potential, induced currents, the laws of induction, the Maxwell equations, principle of least action, solutions of Maxwell's equations in free space, 
solutions of Maxwell's equations with currents and charges, AC circuits, cavity resonators, waveguides, electrodynamics in relativistic notation, Lorentz transformations of the fields, field energy and field momentum, electromagnetic mass, the motion of charges in electric and magnetic fields, the internal geometry of crystals, tenses, refractive index of dense materials, reflection from surfaces, the magnetism of matter, paramagnetism and magnetic resonance, ferromagnetism, magnetic materials, elasticity, elastic materials, the flow of dry water, the flow of wet water, curved space, volume 3, quantum mechanics chapters quantum behavior, the relation of wave and particle viewpoints, probability amplitudes, identical particles, spin 1, spin 1 half, the dependence of amplitudes on time, the Hamiltonian matrix, the ammonia maser, other two-state systems, more two-state systems, the hyperfine splitting in hydrogen, propagation in a crystal lattice, semiconductors, the independent particle approximation, the dependence of amplitudes on position, symmetry and conservation laws, angular momentum, the hydrogen atom and the periodic table, operators, the Schrödinger equation in a classical context, a seminar on superconductivity, abbreviated editions, six readily accessible chapters were later compiled into a book entitled Six Easy Pieces, Essentials of Physics Explained by Its Most Brilliant Teacher, six more chapters are in the book Six Not-So-Easy Pieces, Einstein's Relativity, Symmetry and Space-Time, Six Easy Pieces grew out of the need to bring to as wide an audience as possible, a substantial yet non-technical physics primer based on the science of Richard Feynman. General readers are fortunate that Feynman chose to present certain key topics in largely qualitative terms without formal mathematics. Six Easy Pieces Chapters Atoms in Motion Basic Physics the relation of physics to other sciences, conservation of energy, the theory of gravitation, quantum behavior, six not-so-easy pieces chapters, vectors, symmetry and physical laws, the special theory of relativity, relativistic energy and momentum, space-time, curved space, the very best of the Feynman lectures chapters, the theory of gravitation, curved space, electromagnetism, probability, the relation of wave and particle viewpoints, superconductivity, publishing information, Feynman R, Leighton R, and Sanz M, the Feynman Lectures on Physics, 3 volumes 1964-1966, Library of Congress Catalogue Card No. 6320717 ISBN 0201021153 ISBN 0201500647 ISBN 0805390456 Hardcover Feynman's Tips on Physics a problem-solving supplement to the Feynman Lectures on Physics ISBN 0-8053-9063-4 Six Easy Pieces ISBN 0-201-40896-1 Six Easy Pieces ISBN 0-201-40825-2 Six Not-So-Easy Pieces ISBN 0-201-32841-0 Six Not So Easy Pieces ISBN 0 201 32842 9. Exercises for the Feynman Lectures ISBN 2 35648 1. Feynman R, Leighton R, and Sanz M. The Feynman Lectures on Physics, Volume 1. The Feynman Lectures Website, September 2013.